download our Revise It Right revision app for hundreds of videos, quizzes, exam questions, tutor support and so much more. This video is on the national grid. Now to transmit the huge amount of power needed, you need either a high potential difference or a high current. The problem with a high current, however, is that you lose loads of energy as the wires heat up and energy is transferred to the thermal energy store of the surroundings, which is very, very wasteful. Therefore, it's much cheaper to boost the potential difference up really high and keep the current as low as possible. Now, the national grid is made up of transformers and transmission cables in order to do just this, to increase the potential difference up really, really high and then to reduce it back down before going to a consumer. So here I'm going to draw a power station where the electricity is produced. OK, directly after this power station, so here we have our power station. Directly after this, you have something called a step up transformer. Step up transformer. Now, this increases the voltage. So it increases the voltage, but decreases the current. So the job of a step up transformer is to increase the voltage but decrease the current. This reduces the energy loss to heating in the cables, making the transmission of electricity much more efficient. So after our step up transformer, it then travels via cables and here I'm drawing a pylon to more cables. And it then reaches something called a step down transformer. Step down transformer. Now, the potential difference in a step down uh, transformer is reduced. So the voltage is again reduced. The current is therefore increased by this transformer. Now, this is to make it safe for the consumer to use in their homes. OK, so after the step down transformer, it then goes into consumers, i.e. into homes, into offices, into schools for use. OK, so the national grid is made up of these transformers, the step up and step down transformers and the transmission cables. Their job is to First of all, increase the voltage and decrease the current to make it much more efficient for the energy and electricity to travel. It then goes to a step down transformer, which will then reduce the voltage and increase the current, which makes it much safer for consumers before then going into consumers, households, offices, various things like that for use. Now, it's important to note that the cables in this, so the cables have low resistance to reduce energy loss to heating. Before electricity is delivered to consumers, it goes to the step down transformer, which reduces the voltage to a safe level for the consumers. And remember in the UK, that's around 230 volts. Remember to download our Revise It Right Revision app, watch over 700 videos, answer 4,000 plus quiz questions, over 1,000 flashcards, 1,000 exam questions, worksheets, forums, and get help from qualified teachers and so much more. The link is in the description. So now what I want you to have a go at is answering these four questions here and then we'll run through the answers together. So pause the video now. OK, let's run through our answers. So number one, what name is given to the network of cables and transformers that links power stations to consumers? It's the national grid. Question two, what does a step up transformer do? Well, it increases the voltage and therefore decreases the current. Remember, this is to make it much more efficient to transfer that energy. 
So in number three, explain why step up transformers are used in the electricity distribution system. Well, when the voltage increases, the current decreases. So voltage increases, so therefore the current decreases. This reduces the heating effect in the wires. Therefore, this is an important bit, I'm going to write this down here, therefore reduces the amount of energy wasted. The important thing to do is to get it there efficiently and to reduce the amount of energy wasted in doing so. And finally, most of the world's electricity is generated in power stations that burn fossil fuels. State one environmental problem that burning fossil fuels produces. Well, it produces carbon dioxide. And if you didn't know that, go back and watch our videos on fossil fuels in the previous topic. So we've now looked at the national grid and how it distributes electricity to consumers. How it does this with transformers and cables that compromise the and make up the national grid. You can now test yourself on the quizzes and use exam questions to really start to test your knowledge. If there's anything you didn't understand in this video, then please get into contact with one of our tutors who will be happy to help.